Hi everyone, it's Derek from the iReady podcast here and this is my reaction to the 4-0 victory against Ross County in the Premiership today. A great performance all round, really delighted with that, absolutely relentless and two goals per half. Can't fault the team at all, it was maybe going to be the European hangover but certainly no danger whatsoever from that at all. We made one change from the PSV game that was right in for Kamara, so we lined up McLaughlin, Tavernier, Lundstrom, Goldson, Cholak, Lawrence, Kent, Sands, Wright, Barisic and Tillman. On the subs bench we have McGregor, Ridvan, Jack, Davis, Matondo, Sakala, Arfield, King and Devine. So in the first half... It was a fantastic performance. We set up attackingly, have been relentless, never gave Ross County a sniff and we chased every ball and we sat really, really high. That high play did catch us on occasion, however, as Ross County tried to hit us quickly in the break. Pretty much every time it was fully dealt with though, so really happy with that. However, arguably we should have been down to 10 men on the 16th minute when Sands, who had already picked up an early book in, brought down the attacker. Ross County had hit a long ball up front Sands was the furthest player back he was basically 1v1 with the attacker and he appeared to slip as he was turning he grabbed onto the attacker and hauled him down we definitely got off with one there but considering our luck in the last few games that, that's one we were certainly due we were varying our play and more importantly we have been shooting with their keeper pulling off some great saves, none more so than on the 22nd minute when there was some great one touch play with lunch from Cholak and Tillman, ending in Tillman getting a shot off on the right side of the box and a great save for the keeper and eventually bundled out for the goal kick. However we didn't need to wait much longer for the opening goal because on the 34th minute Lundstrom with the aid of a slight deflection made it 1-0. It was a lovely move with Tillman in our defence working the ball out, shrugging off two strong challenges one of them I don't know if the defender picked up a yellow card for but he really should have the ball was then played to the left to Kent who drives it forward he looks up sends it to Lundstrom who has a shot from 20 yards as I said slight deflection but it went into the back of net delighted with that we kept up our relentless play and got our second on the 39th minute so not long after there and it was Cholak getting a goal Wright was on the right he stops a great burst of pace on the edge of the box on the right he cuts it inwards to Cholak who on the half volley and falling backwards gets a touch and guides it into the left side of the goal just a great instinctive striker's goal there brilliant and some absolutely great play from Wright as well there to round out the half though we had a chance in the 45th minute Kent with a long ball into the back post from the left Tavernier jumped up and heads it off the bar from close range and out really really unlucky that there so certainly great performance in the first half from from the whole team Kent certainly looking the, like the best he's played all season really up for it and Tillman looking menacing as well well going to be likely changes at half time I felt because the game was effectively over and we needed to just to keep up the pace one thing to note though is that someone in the enclosure had some sort of medical emergency where paramedics were called to attend and the game was stopped for about 30 seconds so I hope everybody concerned in that is safe and well there we've never obviously heard any further update to that but into the second half another fantastic performance again relentless making changes when needed and not settling even when the game was clearly over we did make a change at half time though because Sands came off and King came on he took a wee knock just before half time and he was already on that booking and we did get away with him so certainly a good tactical switch even if it wasn't a, a picked up a knock we had a handball claim on the 54th minute which wasn't given when a cross ball from the right it definitely hit off the arm as the defender was sliding in. Definite penalty for me maybe it was evening up the fact that he possibly should have sent Sands off in the first half but at the end of the day two wrongs don't make a right do they? We did however make it 3-0 on the 58th minute with Cholak getting a double. There was one touch football with Kent to Lawrence, a lovely back heel from Lawrence to Kent again who plays a great through ball to Cholak in the box and he blasts it into the net that's 7 goals and 9 appearances he's made now. What a goal machine he's turning into great, delighted for him. Uh, that's a wee bit of get it up you to, to Dave as well for being a wee bit doubtful of his, his play when he first came in but anyway we made a substitutions just after that Tillman and Kent off Matondo and Arfield on we kept up the pace we had a few more chances the keeper made a few good saves as well we're taking shots and we're varying our play and that's what all we've really wanted is we've I've been desperate for that for the season so far and we're getting at this game 
Another substitution on the 72nd minute. Cholak, unfortunately, never got a chance to get his hat-trick. He had a few more chances saved by the keeper or just wide, but he never got that chance to get that hat-trick, and he came off for Davis. And within eight minutes, Davis had made it 4-0. An exquisite sweep and move all the way from our back. The ball was crossed from the centre to Tavernier on the right, goes down the wing, crosses to the centre to Davis, who takes a composed shot on the bounce and into the back of the net. Just a great overall team goal. That's more or less how the game finished up. We had a few more chances. They had a wee spell for about one minute where uh, McLaughlin come, had to come out and punch the ball away. McLaughlin, I think, he had about two or three things to do all game. That's that's the way it should be done. The defence done their job, but ultimately the, the team as a whole, we chased them down, we broke down anything that, that, that came at us and they never really got a sniff at all. So delighted overall. So that lines us up nicely for the next game, which is on Tuesday night. It's a home game against Queen of the South in the League Cup. So I think that's an 8 o'clock kickoff as well. So Dave or I will be back with a post-match after that. And at some point in this coming week, we'll be doing a main podcast. So all that's left to say is you can go and check out all the stuff on all the usual podcast outlets. It's great to finish off the day with a, with a, a good victory can be in a good mood for the rest of the weekend now so have a great weekend thanks for listening and goodbye